the first year I came here was 2014, and I was like, I want to submit something. That was kind of my first thing I thought was like, I want to submit something to Art Prize, and then after that, I think it was 2016 my first uh, submission. But it just started off just visiting here, and it just had that click like, whoa, I want to try something. I want to try uh, submitting an art piece here. <laughs> This is very exciting. For the 10th year, Grand Rapids is hosting Art Prize. Just submit anything. Just like just start off small, get your feet wet, because it's like that's how I start off. I was just like, let me try submitting a photo. And then I was like, well, let me try this now. And it's just something you gotta just start, uh, start off small and just keep keep at it. So for three weeks in late September, early October, art is the order of the day here in Grand Rapids. Artists from all over the country have submitted over a thousand pieces, all in the hopes of winning that $200,000 prize. So without further ado, let's go take a look at some of this awesome art. My name is Tom Gifford, and this is my piece called The Michigan Effect. I was like here 16 hours a day talking to people, and a lot of people congratulating me, and I was, it was really exciting. <laughs> Talk to me about Art Prize in general. What does it mean for artists? Oh, it's really good. Beginner artists, professional artists, anyone in between. It's really, it's great for everyone because it gets your name out there, you meet new people, and it's good for all around, and plus it's good for small businesses around in Grand Rapids, and uh, yeah, just all around good for Grand Rapids. Well, Art Prize is pretty famous. It's the biggest art competition in the world, so when you're traveling around the country looking for cool things to do, it's hard to miss. What does a competition like Art Prize mean to you? It's everything. You know, the opportunity for artists to make money off their craft like this and to take advantage of some of the benefactors in the projects, it's amazing. What would you say to somebody who's never been here? What would you, what would you tell them? Well, first you got to see it to believe it. Um, and second of all, the sheer volume and the sheer talent of all the people involved is mind-blowing. I've never seen anything like it. Art Prize is, I mean, it's been interesting to see the community come in and talk about it. This venue's a little out of the way. So having people come in and be like, oh, I come here every year because it's not one of the big venues. And like having people talk about how they experience Art Prize in different ways has been really interesting for me. I mean, this is what I've always wanted to do for my entire life, to travel around the country, around the world with a purpose and be able to help people. So wherever that's accepted, wherever people want to hear that, that's where I'll be. Art Prize is a fun experience and <laughs> it's a cool thing to check out. Art Prize!
So another art prize is in the books. This year's big winner, winners I should say, is Leandra Lesur. She won for her piece Brown, Carmine, and Blue. But my favorite winner was the public selection of Chelsea Nix and, Mar and uh, Mariano Cortez. They won for their string project, which as you can see right there, one more look at that, was an amazing piece of art. Hope you liked this video, hope you learned something. I hope you learned something about art. If you did, go to Art Prize's website. It's in the description below. You can find out a whole lot more information about this year's Art Prize, Art Prizes in the past, and of course, the Art Prize, which is slated for two years, Art Prize 11. Again, I hope you liked this video. If you did, click that bell icon, share it with your friends. Also go to my website, ronrobinsonstudios.com, where you can see a whole lot more videos. Until next time, we'll see you. incubator here and it's a 1957 Shasta camper van found and abandoned in southern Oregon and we've been traveling around the country from the west coast to the east coast to the south to the north telling the story of what it means to be an artist in 2018 you know how can you maintain your personal creativity and support your family and make enough money to live um, it's a very unique challenge and different for everybody so we take the advice of artists and share it with people who are just starting out in their journey what should people expect from you in two years? Oh, I have no idea because the, even this was something that I just kind of decided at the last minute, like, okay, I got to get done before the submission deadline. But really, I think I'll decide within the next few months, and which I have two years now to do something. So something bigger, probably. I'm thinking even maybe an installation or something. That'd be really cool.